Hey, good morning. How are you doing? It is, look at this little tendril I've got. Am I going to the prince's ball? Um, hey, it's Tuesday morning. And that means that it is my day off. I have one day off a week from doing Six the Musical on Broadway. I'm just putting on some SPF because I'm getting ready to take my dog out for a walk. Listen, it's February, right? Everybody's talking about love. Everybody's talking about who's going to be your Valentine. And as you know, on this channel and just on my social media in general, I think the most important love story of all is your love story with yourself. Did I say that in a way that sounds normal? I think it begins with self, right? Because I think some of the most profound love that we can have in this world is, of course, not with ourself but in other ways it is. But love that we have with others, I think reflects the love that we have for ourselves and can become stronger if the love that we have for ourselves becomes stronger. So today we're gonna do a little self-love day and it's gonna be realistic. So we've got a little bit of pampering on the agenda and we've got a little bit of fun later in the night. So I'm not gonna be alone all day. Sometimes I do self-care days where I'm just alone and that's what I need. But I think this is a wonderful season to be around people that you love, including friends. And so tonight I will be spending some time with the girls from six because we love each other so much that we get together on our day off. We're also celebrating the birthday of our cast member, Dee Dee, who plays Kay Howard in the show. She just turned 25 yesterday, so tonight we are gonna be celebrating her. Um, I need to take my thyroid medication and then I need to take Mochi on a walk, but hold on because I can't go for a walk in this. For warmth purposes, not for style, this is a cute t-shirt. morning in New York. Um, today is a really sad morning because I found out that one of my favorite musical artists of all time and somebody that I grew up listening to and still listen to regularly has died from cancer. Toby Keith. Yeah, I've, I've spoken to my mom about him so many times about his, his talent. Ne it never failed to amaze me. He was so one of a kind, he was so gifted, he was an incredible vocalist. What a sense of humor, what anthemic, iconic songs. It's just such a loss. And um, it really just makes me want to, I'm already doing it consciously, but really live each day to the fullest and appreciate my health and appreciate the people that I you know, because we feel like the people that we love artistically will live forever because in some ways they will because of their art and their contributions and their generosity with their spirit. Um, and in other ways, of course, we are human beings with bodies and that's not how life goes for all of us. Well, for all of us, it ends the same way, but I'm saying getting sick and that. I think I'll play some Toby Keith while I make my bed and um, put on some clothes that I can walk in. I ain't as good as I once was. I was good once as I ever was. Oh, that was uh, as good as I once was. That song hits different today. Anyway, Mochi is in here reminding me that it's time for his walk. So I'm gonna put off making the bed until after we do that. Um, so let's go. Oh, also I put on a little bit of jewelry, but we'll talk about that in a second. That's the only thing about this apartment that I'm subletting. This is what it looks like in the daytime with no lights on. I mean, it is positively vampiric. Um, but I'm gonna take some thyroid medication, but I make it work, so don't worry. Ah, ah, ah. No. Go. Run. 
Oh my gosh, it is gorgeous and sunny. <sighs> mm, this is a great way to start the morning because sometimes, again, waking up in that dark apartment, I'm like, what time is it? What's going on? And then I just come to the park and my body is thankful. Okay, I'm straight up walking in mud right now. So this is Mochi's social time. He likes this area because I let him run around and play off the leash for a little bit and say hi to other dogs. Okay, good retrieval. Good job. Daily sunlight, if I can get it, is... Hey, Moch! Come on! Get up here! It's actually a big part of my self-care routine because I am just... I mean, I'm a Leo, but also I'm just a human being. And sun is so vital and, and important for me and my, my mood and my happiness. And if you've watched my recent videos, you know that this winter I struggled particularly with mental health and so it's just it's my top priority because I think when you know what it feels like to not feel well um, like there's no other way but self-care first you know because you can't it feels like you can't do anything when you're not well when you're not healthy um, you know when your mental health needs attention things like that it feels like you can't give to anybody else you can't pour from an empty cup as they say right but my self-care really is paramount and part of it is getting that sunshine and so i love that it's a collaborative effort with me and mochi he gets his outdoor time and i get my outdoor time <laughs> and it's so nice that in new york i really had this preconceived notion that living here i would just have no time in nature i mean of course there are buildings behind me but if i venture further into the park if i had more time there are places where i'm like it feels like i'm just in the middle of the forest it is dead quiet and so peaceful especially on snowy days it's unbelievable but um yeah there's plenty of places for reflection and quiet and nature here and I'm, I'm very appreciative of that so this is a, my favorite way to start the morning and then I'm already getting excited for my coffee okay time to feed Moshi his breakfast so that's what I'm doing I'm running a little well I'm not running behind but I've got to rush through my morning routine a little more than I would like to but it's for a good reason because I'm getting a facial today at Sophie Pavitt Skincare. I've literally been waiting three months to get this facial because they take forever. Well, they have just a long, you know, they're a little hard to book. They're popular. Um, but also, it's funny. I wanted to get a facial on a Tuesday because it's my day off so I could go the rest of the day without makeup. Surprise, I have plans tonight and I will be wearing some makeup, but I'll try to keep it light and it's fine. Um, Trader Joe's has new <laughs> almond vanilla foaming hand soap, and y'all, it is really good. So I'm washing my hands. We just got back from our walk. Your breakfast is served, buddy. Washing my hands before I make my morning coffee. My favorite part of the morning. And I'm going to make it in a to-go cup so I can take it on the subway, which is also something I love. And I washed all my dishes last night so I can take a nice clean to-go cup. I have been loving my Nespresso. Let me bring you a little closer. So, so for Christmas, my parents bought me a, oh, so I need to clean this up, a Nespresso Latissima. And um, I don't always use the milk function. Uh, sometimes I just froth my own milk. Um, and then I also bought this cute drawer to keep my pods in. And unfortunately, when I put it on top of here, it hit, like, I'm not able to open it like this. So I'll just keep them here. It's fine. What are we going to have today? I want something a little strong. What is this one? Altissio. Hmm. Or do I want Diabolito? I'm going to 
do an altissimo because I want to be high in the sky. And you know what? I'll make the milk with it just to show off my cool machine. So hold on. All right, so put the milk in here. If you don't have an espresso, if you do, you're like, uh, stop, I don't care. And should we make, you know what? The lattes are really, really milky, so I'm gonna just, let's just do a cappuccino. I don't really want all that milk. And here we go. And while this brews, I'm gonna go make my bed. Here we go. We have a nice little cappuccino. So before I leave for my facial, I want to talk about the jewelry that I'm wearing today and shout out the sponsor of today's video, Ana Luisa, classic on this channel um, and just a wonderful supporter of my online presence for many years now. So, so this is the jewelry I've picked out to wear today. I think I'll probably keep it for tonight. I had this idea for this outfit, I thought I was gonna wear a dress, but I might wear a mini skirt, skirt, and a butt. I don't know, you'll see, but I have something in my head that I might try. So I want a little bit of like preppy jewelry that looks like it's been passed down from family member to family member. Um, and speaking of which, this is so funny. So these are both Ana Luisa rings, and this one, this be beautiful green, I think it's malachite, um, my friend Bernadette, my best friend, saw a video of me wearing it. I've been posting a lot of singing videos on Instagram that I'm really proud of, um, including a 10 impressions video, me doing all my vocal impressions. And she saw this ring and she was like, is that a vintage Baccarat ring? And I was like, what? I don't, I don't have a vintage Baccarat ring. What ring are you talking about? Because she's like, it looks just like it. And I guess her, her aunt had one when she was little and it literally, she sent me a picture. It looks like this. And it's going online for a lot more than what this is going for on Ana Luisa. So I love this one. This one is just a classic for me. I wear this all the time. Two really beautiful, delicate bracelets and some nice huggies. You can tell I'm just into like comfortable, functional, jewelry on my day off. I kind of want to be fuss free, but I want it to still look, you know, a little elegant, add a little bit of interest um, to the hands and to the outfit because I tend to wear pretty plain outfits on a day to day basis. Um, so yeah, very pleased about that. These are just such great everyday earrings for me. They stay out of my way. They're amazing. If you're an athletic person, I've never had Ana Luisa jewelry get ruined by sweat the pool, the ocean, uh, the sun, cream. Um, these are just so great for me and my lifestyle and they're so easy to remove at the theater when I need to put on my costume earrings. No fuss. Um, but Ana Luisa is a, re a really amazing company. They are sustainable. They're completely carbon neutral. They have an amazing warranty on their jewelry that if you're not happy or if something breaks, they will replace it. Um, they will work with you until you are happy. And because Valentine's Day is coming up, they are doing some great discounts and sales um, on their pieces so that you can get yourself or someone special a gift or two or three for Valentine's Day. Send your partners, send your friends the link because the jewelry is fantastic. And there's another pair of earrings I have that I'll show you later in the video that are so perfect for fantasy readers. Um, I recently finished Fourth Wing Red Iron Flame, so no spoilers, please. But I just, I want to be a dragon rider. And these earrings are literally like Basquiat War College earrings because they're like silver with some raindrops or like blood drops. And then on the other side, there's a dagger. And it's just so cool. And it just reminds me of the scene where Zayden is teaching Violet how. Anyway, if you haven't read it, never mind. But all I'm going to say is sparring, daggers, and disarming. 
Anyway, again, thanks to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. Check them out. They have so many beautiful pieces. Again, they've never disappointed me in, in my busy lifestyle. I really am not someone who is interested in a high maintenance jewelry collection i just can't do it i'm just on the go love anna luisa love that they are sustainable they're aware of their impact on this world and they make such beautiful designs obviously vintage inspired and i had no idea so very classic this one honestly reminds me a lot of um ben cleef and arpels i love it dainty and gorgeous so i'm gonna go get this skin taken care of uh, yeah, it's time for me to go. So, let's go. Okay, facial ad Sophie Pavitt is done. I don't look as bad as I thought I would. I'm a little puffy and red because we did a lot of extractions. Oh, she really beat me up. <laughs> um, but that's what I wanted. And we did a peel. So now I'm gonna head over to the pharmacy. Okay, I'm a little red. Um, head over to the pharmacy. I gotta pick up some mental health medication because self-care and a couple skincare products. I'm gonna try to find some black tights so that I can wear them tonight. So, I stopped in the West Village. I'm right across from my favorite workout place, but I'm not going there right now. The trains were running really strangely today, so I just stopped here, and I'm gonna go to Eve Beauty Supply. It's, I love the Eve by the theater, um, so there's one a 14 minute walk away. I'm gonna stop by, I need to get a few things that um, the esthetician recommended. She wants me to stop using an oil cleanser. I think I'm gonna keep using the one I have until I finish it. And then she wants me to start using my cellar to take off my makeup. Um, and then she wants me to be washing my makeup brushes with something that I would actually use on my face because I usually like, use baby shampoo. And she said, get a foaming cleanser. I want to get um, a very thin curling iron to see if I can curl my short hair and kind of make it look like a curly bullet. I don't know. Something to play around with. Why not? I feel like this is the city where you can get away with that. It's just like playing with your look. I really like that. So I'm on my way to Eve. Eve Supply. Oh, he wasn't, he isn't reclining anymore. You were just laid back like a little, like this. Oh, you were really relaxing, huh? Wow. I missed you. Finally home. I went to the beauty supply. That location was great. It is like, oh my gosh, it's paradise in there. They have a bunch of like European products and Asian products, like imported. It's amazing. Then I picked up my medication, and now I'm here with Mocher, and I have about three hours till dinner with Olivia, who's in six with me. We're gonna get some sushi at a place in the neighborhood that I've been told is the best sushi on the Upper West. And then we're gonna go see Merrily We Roll Along with Daniel Radcliffe. I'm literally gonna be in the same room as Daniel Radcliffe, AKA Aripoa. Um, and then we're gonna go dancing for Dee Dee's birthday. So, raise your hand if you're excited. I love you, but I gotta eat something. It's two o'clock, I haven't eaten anything yet. Isn't that shocking? <gasps> Can you believe? Can you believe? So, I think I'm gonna roast some fingerling. I have, um, I forgot if I told you in a vlog already. I do a farmer's market delivery service and where are my slippers? Cause I don't like walking barefoot. And this week I got some mini 
fingerling potatoes and sweet potatoes. And so I'm gonna roast those because if I don't do it on my day off, I'm not gonna do it. I think I'll add those to like a little egg and rice bowl. I don't wanna spoil my dinner though. I'll be fine. Regardless, I need to roast these. Okay. Okay, I'm making my little recipe, but it's my favorite time of day. It's time to have my icy lemony. I almost just cut this lemon without looking down. Vlog, I cut off my own finger. Um, an icy lemony Diet Coke, sweetheart. And it's so funny, I grew up hating Diet Coke. My mom was a big Diet Coke lady. And obviously, real Coke, real Coke is everything. But the amount that I like real Coke is not healthy and it's better if she's just not really in my life so diet coke it is and also coke zero now neither neither of those i almost this is my last can i almost thought i was out and i was about to scream the apartment is a little bit messy neither of those taste like real coke okay i know that but but they do the trick and this is my little treat, okay? I know soda is not good for you. It doesn't matter if it's diet or whatever, but this is my treat and it makes me so happy. And it's a simple treat. There are a lot of other things I could do that might feel good, make me happy, and they're not smart. I'm talking about drugs. Okay, I should probably tidy. I like to really keep my days off sacred. Like I really try not to do much work, but that mess is stressing me out a little bit, so I'm gonna I'm gonna tidy that up. Yum! See you later. Sometimes it just brings me so much joy to have simple little snack meals. I feel like I should not eat a big meal right now because dinner is in like two and a half hours and I want to be able to eat so much sushi because I've not had sushi, I think, since I moved to New York, if I remember correctly. So I'm having an orange um, from my produce box, some cheese from my produce box, Triscuits, and my Diet Coke. And then I'm gonna figure out, well, I'll show you what I got the beauty supply and I'm gonna try to do something cool with my hair. Okay, so back in my room, the skin is looking extracted. I'll figure it out in a little bit. Anyway, I wanted to show you what I got today. Um, at the esthetician, I picked up the Face Reality Antioxidant Scrub. I mostly use Face Reality products for my skin. Never had another line improve my skin and keep it looking good like Face Reality. I'm so thankful that I went to Skin Tegrity when I lived in LA. It's um, this amazing skin clinic and I was introduced to Face Reality and I did the Acne Boot Camp program and it changed my skin. So they suggested I use that just because I wear stage makeup every day and I sweat and it's just like I need a little bit of extra physical exfoliation. So I've never used this but I'm excited to because I love the feeling of physical exfoliation. And then I bought the Tower 28 um, SOS Daily Rescue Facial Spray. So I keep a, I think it's called Hypochlorous, Hypochlorous Acid. It was described to me basically like sanitizer for your skin. I keep a bottle, not this one, a different one, but hypochlorous acid at the theater and I spray it on right after I get off stage when I'm sweaty or in between shows on my neck and my chest and my face just to sanitize my face from all the sweat from the show if I don't have time to wash it right away. So I just bought the Tower 28 version of the hypochlorous acid. So that's ready to swing in when the one at the theater is done. And this color I love. So cute. Okay, then at the beauty supply, I bought uh, a Hot Tools curling iron that's five eighths of an inch, very specific, but I wanted something small enough to make it look like I have kind of natural curls. Um, and because my hair is so short right now, I really like a big barrel just will do nothing. Yes, gonna try that out, very excited. Um, then I bought some Bioderma micellar water because that was suggested to me. Some CeraVe foaming facial cleanser um, to wash my brushes with. 
this looks, this is Korean, I can see. Uh, this is a Camellia Body Cleanser by Red Flow. Um, so there's Camellia Oil and Camellia Water, and it just caught my eye. And it looks like it's going to be very hydrating. I love using something with an oil in the shower. At first, I cleanse my body with, especially after I've done a show, with something with salicylic acid or something very foamy. And then I do a second wash on my body that's more luxurious and fun and something scented. Um, so this would be like my second wash. And my body breakouts are basically non-existent now that I do a double cleanse in the shower. Um, I wish I would have known earlier. I also love the Borotalco soap. It's an Italian soap and it smells amazing and it's very cleansing but not stripping and I love it. So, but yeah, I'm really excited to try this. Then I needed a new body lotion because I just ran out of my Siba Med um, Latte Hidratante from Italy, which I loved. It was amazing and I tried to order it again and I guess they've discontinued it. So they're sending me a different Siba Med product. But in the meantime, I bought this Johnson's Creamy Oil Shea and Cocoa Butter. This is for babies, I think. But I'm a baby. Oh, baby and adult skin, okay. Well, whatever, I was a baby once and I'm a baby now. I wanna try this. I love cocoa butter, I love shea butter, and I love oil products. I don't like a, um, a lotion that takes forever to sink in. I like that on my hands, not really on my body. And that's why I loved the, the hydrating milk from Sebamed. Oh yeah, this is nice and light. Okay. I was hoping it would smell like ah, shea and cocoa butter. Like I was hoping for like a Palmer's fragrance. That smells like apples, like Johnson & Johnson baby soap. Well, that's kind of annoying. <laughs> Pretty simple ingredients, so I can't complain because at least it's, you know, fairly simple and probably is not going to clog my pores and stuff like that, but interesting. I was hoping for a different fragrance from you, Johnson's. I got the Absolute New York Double-Ended Precise Tip Waterproof Black Liquid Liner. I bought some pantyhose. I don't actually think I was looking for pantyhose, I think I was looking for tights. I think there's a difference. And these are also ultra sheer, which is not also not really what I wanted, but um, did I buy them? I did. So they'll have to work for tonight. I got another concealer because I'm about to run out of this. I use it at home and at the theater, but the one at the theater is running low. This is the, oh, wrong shade. That's okay, just gonna be very fair. Um, NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. I like to use vanilla for under my eyes, but this is alabaster, so okay. Okay, so now it's about time, I think, that I'm gonna start sorting out my hair. I'm trying to be an anime character, but I kind of just went like that. I don't, I don't know how to do it. Okay, wish me luck. Okay, not bad, right? I mean, this basically looks like how my hair looks out of pin curls. So I probably didn't need to get a curling iron and it kind of took a while and I'm not like crazy about this style, but it's something and it's something different. <laughs> this is, hi. But I'm gonna change my outfit and maybe that will change the vibe. Okay, I've come up with a look, hold on. I need to give you the full effect. I have a feeling this is not what you wear when you go dancing. Like, I know that, and yet I'm called to wear this, and so I just, I don't really know what to do because we are going dancing later. Here's the look. I think it's fun. And what bag am I going to carry? I could carry this really fun blue furla. I don't know. Uh, I've got... This Anna Luisa star necklace. This is, is this Jenny Bird? I don't know. Um, my watch, Anna Luisa, Anna Luisa, Anna Luisa, Anna Luisa. And I decided to put my hair up in this little like Bardo-esque updo with these fake 
they're not fake bangs, they're my bangs, but I kind of made them into bangs because I don't really have bangs. How many more times can I say bangs? Um, I'm wearing a Zara Hypnotic Vanilla tonight. Um, and that's that. So I think I'm gonna take Mochi out. And are these shoes, they're so cute. <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> they're so cute, but they're, they're, like, should I bring a change of shoes? Should I bring, I think everybody's wearing heels tonight though. Ah, I don't know. I mean, it's like we're going to the theater, we're going to dinner and then theater and then dancing. So it's, you know, I think I made my face look pretty good. I probably put on more makeup than I should, but it's all acne safe. So that's life. Life has to go on, you know? Oh, also I did roast these vegetables. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, y'all, I'm on my way to get sushi. And I know I said tonight, like all the girls said, we're wearing dresses, we're like going super hot, whatever. This is really the best I could do. <laughs> and I'm wearing booties, not heels, but I just, it's so cold. I can't possibly be bare-legged. And the tights that I bought ripped immediately when I put them on. So they were indeed ultra sheer and ultra thin and not good so that ruined my chances of wearing anything any of my little mini skirts I wanted to wear so we make do I also looked up the bar that we're going dancing and it, it's in the East Village and it seems kind of like casual-ish so it's not like a club um, I don't know. I'd rather be comfortable the rest of the night than being the one that's like complaining about their shoes or pulling the dress down. I don't know. I had a dress that I could have worn. It's this very cool leather, I think, ALC dress from Rent the Runway, but I just can't. It's just too cold. I'm walking to sushi now. Curious to see what Olivia's wearing. <laughs> she said she's gonna wear a Hoochie Mama dress. So I hope she doesn't mind that I didn't join her in the festivities, but I'm just all about the comfort. I really am. Hello. <laughs> see the sign but I'm so excited wow other end of a Broadway stage Olivia <laughs> wow behind the camera as it were <laughs> so I guess Olivia got us dead center seat look at this set Oh, it's like a gorgeous LA house. It looks like Todrick Hall's house. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> well, Olivia, what's what's your review? Well, oh, stop. <laughs> I didn't do that. I didn't do that. Well, I already said this to Olivia, but oh, I might be other? I might be a Ravenclaw, but we were all Gryffindors tonight. <laughs> That was really good. Very, very lovely, very beautiful. What did, you, what did you think? I mean, I was just so impressed and the ensemble sounded so clean. Clean, that last note when they all got yes. 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 Si, 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 yes. Simo. Wow. Yeah. Nailed it. Now it's time to go dancing. Well, we are ending the night, ending the day as we started it. Walking mochi. Um, my phone was at 2% battery, so I had to preserve it, but after, but after the show, we went to La Linea and Dee Dee and her crew came and we danced and we had fun. We took over the sound system and played reggaeton and it was great. And now I'm home walking mochi. It's a little past one in the morning. I'd like to drink a lot of water tonight. Okay, so I'm about to hop in the shower because I've I've got something coming out on my chin, but that's good. That's fine. Come out. You're welcome here. Just see yourself out. Um, I need to shower because I want to sleep and feel clean 
And also, um, I would rather just sleep in a little bit more tomorrow than need to sh like shower tomorrow during the day because I'm getting lunch with a friend and I want to be showered for that. Um, and I want to get into my sheets being clean. So I'm going to shower. I'm going to try out that new Camellia body oil and get this makeup off my face. I hope you guys enjoyed this very real filmed on an iPhone uh, acne riddled messy splotchy mirror vlog. Good morning, everyone. It's the next day. Taking Mochi for another walk and just wanted to give you a proper sign off. As I said last night, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I do want to thank you for watching and being here. And if you're new uh, and you enjoyed this, it would be wonderful if you subscribed and because uh, I'd love to see you here again. And thank you once again to Anna Luisa for sponsoring this video. I will leave all the info for Anna Luisa down below so you can check it out and do some shopping for yourself or for a loved one this Valentine's Day and into the rest of the year. So love you very much and uh, I'm going to get this Wednesday started, first day of my work week. So mwah, talk to you later. Bye guys.